the entrance and the fall. These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. Hallelujah. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for the birthday intentions of R.G. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Set to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You rose from the dead to give us new life. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to be below the river. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, like of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, grant us, through their prayers, a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas and to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once, most of whom were still living, though some had fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song, their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imports knowledge. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message.
says the Lord. Philip, whoever has seen me, has seen the Father. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whoever you ask, and whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these. Almost unbelievable to believe uh, that Jesus said this, that we could do greater works than he did. I was reading uh, Reader's Digest uh, just recently about 15 people who changed the world, changed history, 15 ordinary people. Of course, the first one was Rosa Parks, who refused to give up her seat and helped spark the civil rights movement. There was a man on a flight on 9-11 who fought back, and although the plane still crashed, um, his story inspired others at a very difficult time in America. There was a 1970s housewife who, whose children and many of her neighbors had a very rare disease, very rare sickness. She helped discover that there was tons of toxic waste in their neighborhood to move them out, eventually developed the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency. All these people did things to better the world, to change the world that we live in. But we, as Christians, can do even greater things because we can change eternal life. We can give others eternal life, rather. We can change supernatural things. But how? How can we do this? We go back to Jesus' statement. He says, whoever believes in me will do my works and greater works. And then he also says right after that, because I am going to the Father. When Jesus went to the Father, he sent the apostles, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, to be with them, to empower them. This is the book of the Acts of the Apostles that we're going through, this gospel of the Holy Spirit, if you will, where the, these first apostles and disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit to heal, to give life. When Jesus uh, lived on earth, he did only what the Father wanted him to do. He spoke only what the Father said through him and in him. We too, by the gift of the Holy Spirit, we participate in this very life of Father and Son. And we have the power to change supernatural order. We have the power of Jesus healed the sick. When we visit the sick and care for the sick and pray for the sick, we give them the hope and courage to return to life when they may be despairing or despondent. When we visit those who are in need of financial assistance or, or food or poor, we give them hope that Jesus has not forgotten about them. When we pray for or witness to those who may need conversion, who may need to come back to the church, we give them eternal life. So we can do truly great things in and with the Holy Spirit. So as you receive our Lord in the Eucharist today, Father, Son, and Spirit, Remember and be inspired and believe that you can do great things 
in and through that same Holy Spirit. Gathered together in the resurrected Christ, we offer our God the following prayers and petitions. That the Pope and all bishops may be blessed with all good graces in faithfully living out their mission and receive from the apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that Christ may guide the minds and hearts of leaders in promoting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who despair may receive the grace of the Holy Spirit in finding hope in the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For peace in our world and for the safety of the men and women of our armed forces and the first respondents who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us not pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you ask me to pray for his five-year-old godchild's father, Scott, who has colon cancer and is having colon removal surgery today. So we offer that prayer, and as we do in the month of Mary, we offer all of our prayers uh, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary. Lord, Lord, Lord God, we offer you these prayers and petitions, trusting in your plan for us. We know that you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received for every other thing. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Spirit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, for through the blessed apostles, Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are praying. Holy, 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 You 
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the thought of all holiness. May holy therefore the gift be great by sending down your spirit upon them like the new call, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and after willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church who spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, our Lord.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, God,
Let us pray. Purify our minds, the Lord, we pray, by these holy gifts we have received, so that, contemplating you and your Son, together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to, reset, to, to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael the Archangel.